everybody, Epic Maxter here. Uh, it's been about a month since I last did a vlog. A lot has changed. I would like to welcome you to the first new vlog of the channel, of the name, and all that good stuff. So we went to Catacon less than a month ago. You saw my little quick vlog there because I forgot my uh, laptop cord. So I couldn't really do any vlogs out there. Ever since going to Katsucon, I had so many people on the last day of the con, second to last day, pretty much the entire weekend, ask me whether if I was gonna have any of their photos up on like a website. Cause walking around with a fancy camera, people thought I was a fancy photographer when actually I'm not. One, that camera's very old. Two, I don't know a thing or two about photography. I just like taking con photos. Therefore, I decided to breathe some life back into my Facebook page did a renaming and also did a renaming of the YouTube page. This channel is no longer Epic Magster Studios. This channel is now Magpie Productions. I will still be making vlogs. I'll still be doing any unboxings that I find or any um, videos of like Ask Magster. I have a couple ideas in mind as well. But for starters, the reason the name change, like I said, I had so many people asking me for their photos. So those can be found on Facebook that I'm still uploading. And as for the name change, Magpie was actually a nickname that I had for a long time. I had an uncle always called me Magpie. So um, I was going to do Magpie Studios, but thanks to Rob, he gave me the suggestions of changing the last name to production. So this is Magpie Productions. A little bit of an update, personal life update and everything, what I've been up to since the end of 2019. I did some traveling. I went to California. Um, for my aunt's birthday and then meanwhile Rob came out with me to California. It was his first time out there Weather was nice and everything a little bit cold a couple of wildfires, but all is good We actually went to Disneyland which was uh, Rob's first time in Disneyland and my second time in Disneyland and we got to experience Halloween It was great. There's actually a couple of videos that I have on the channel So feel free to look down below for those because there's a playlist of the California Disney vlogs and everything. We also ended up going out to Oregon. I actually had a passing in the family, so we had to travel out to Oregon. Um, it was a nice little visit and everything. Um, Oregon's very pretty. It was in Portland, Oregon. Um, probably wouldn't suggest living out there because it's just so rainy and gray, but it was fun to see family and everything. So just like the end of 2019 was kind of a whirlwind of emotions. Um, this also happened as well too. So that was like on top of everything with Christmas, with the traveling, with the funeral, with the engagement. Um, it was, it was like speechless. I'm going to start crying right now because every time I think about it, it's just so emotional. But yes, I am engaged, happy as up as I could ever be. I can't think of words right now, but uh, we're not getting married until next October. So I'm really excited about that because um, we're already in March and I've had this vlog panned out for like a couple of weeks, but yay, here it is. A little less than a month ago, we were at Katsucon 2020 and that was a nice fun weekend. I went to more photo shoots. Unfortunately, the weather was cold, so we really couldn't go outside. But as for any con traveling future trips, um, I think one we want to shoot for is MAGFest, but that won't be until like probably a couple years from now because we have saving to do for our wedding and everything. Another personal update, um, getting back into video gaming, obviously Pokemon Sword Shield came out, so I had a chance to play that. Really enjoyed the game. Pretty sure there's still more to do in there. I'm waiting for DLC to come out. Before we went out to Katakon, I was playing this game called Hollow Knight, which uh, it was on the Xbox Game Pass for free. So I downloaded it because it looked kind of spooky, fun, cool. Um, played it through it. On my first playthrough, I got towards the end of the game, stopped playing it when Pokemon came out, lost the whole uh, configuration of the controls. So I decided to re-pick it back up a couple of weeks ago. And Rob was my lovely guide throughout the lore of Hollow Nest because uh, the game has a, so much lore that there's a lot to think about. And I completed the game the other week and I'm just like, I don't want to say anything about the game. Because I recommend that you guys should play it, experience it for yourself, because it's such a really good game. The gameplay is great. It's like a Metroid-style game. The environment is pretty. It's a lot. And they do have a sequel that's coming out, but there hasn't been a release date on the sequel. So, but play Hollow Knight. Trust me. So, for future update videos, um, the main reason that I want to do videos is I want to travel. Um, obviously, right now, of course, you don't know with 2020 with the whole coronavirus update going around and stuff. Um, traveling will be something that will happen in the far future because one expenses and two the virus that's going around that everyone's in a full-blown panic about um, but yes you want to be cautious just wash your hands 
just please wash your hands. Also with traveling vlogs, it's also a big learning concept of not being so shy in public because I get really awkward, which is why it took me so long to make this vlog. But I mean, worst case scenarios with vlogging in public is someone would be telling me like, hey, you can't vlog here. But then again, it's a public place but certain places have restrictions. I totally understand. I'll be like, cool, no problem. Here's some photos. For videos that I will not be doing anymore, I won't be doing any more WWE videos because I haven't watched wrestling in probably over a year. Uh, the last thing I probably saw clips of was Royal Rumble. Shout out to my brother, my sister-in-law that actually went there uh, in January. Royal Rumble was in January? Okay, Royal Rumble was in January. And it was cool because Edge came back, which I'm like, oh, that's cool. And Randy Norton has a thing of just attacking legends again, but uh, other than that, I haven't been watching WWE. I don't know what's happening. So no more wrestling videos. As much as fun they were, making predictions, talking about it, it was just, eh. So I won't plan on doing any more WWE videos. Um, boring side video? What? Boring side videos? Sorry, I've had like a note of stuff that I had going on. <laughs> and, uh... Well, I, 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 I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Unboxings. Uh, I haven't gotten anything new to unbox. I do still have a Pusheen box that I was supposed to return, but never did, but they never contacted me about it. So I still have it. I haven't unboxed it. Um, uh, but another new video idea that I plan on doing is doing any con grabs. Typically when we go to anime conventions, we always come home with a lot of stuff. So I think a really good idea would be to go through all the stuff that I got and kind of credit the artists, especially the amount of times that we went into Artist Alley and through the dealer's room and give all their credits. And surprisingly enough, this is pretty much what we grabbed from the convention. Uh, surprisingly, this isn't a lot. We've been to other conventions where we've probably come home with like twice as many posters, which I do have posters. They are um, tucked away somewhere. Um, a lot of stuff on the shelf behind me has... No, well, there's a couple of things on the shelves that... No, there's nothing on the shelves that we haven't got from cons. They're all up in the attic, so... Oh, yeah, there's two figures up there. Um, you probably can't see them. Maybe you can, but I will reveal that in a new video. Um, so the next video after this that I plan on planning is a Tetsu Con 2020 um, con grab. So there's this as well. And another couple other future videos that I have. For Christmas, I got this Evolution Lego set. I am going to try to do like a creation video of like all the little evolutions. It's literally every single evolution. So it'll probably take me a while to make that video as well too. Another video that I have put off for probably months on end, because me and Rob were supposed to do this together, is a Guess That Pokemon video. Is just pretty much, I guess, either flashcards are probably the easiest way to do it because I do not have the most fanciest mode of video editing because my laptop's really old. It's like almost died on me twice, not really, blue screen. Um, so it's more of guess that Pokemon, but Rob added a twist on that to guess that Pokemon, guess that type, and guess what generation. And I think things will be a tiny bit easier now that I played Sword Shield, but I still have a hard time remembering names from Sword Shield. So we'll see how that goes. And another plan that I thought of is, um, there is a game called Heads Up. It's like on your phone. It's like through Ellen or whatever. Or you do like, uh, my idea is combining that with Pokemon. So you have like the picture of the Pokemon on your head and the other person has to give you clues and guess that Pokemon that's on your head and then you guess that Pokemon. Oh, he likes it. Awesome. So yes. So that was this and everything. As you can see, I am in a new vlog setup. We got nice shelves behind us. There's a couple of nerdy things on here. Nothing's finalized, but there will be another video of this shelf thing area as a tour. Um, obviously the stuff that's going to go up on the shelves is stuff from Katsukon that we got. We have a couple things that we need to hang up, some posters to hang up. It's a lot. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thanks for the support on the updated Facebook page. I have also had to create a second Instagram page just for con photos, like new and old and everything. I've gotten a lot of good feedback. Um, I even had a couple of cosplayers comment on the photos saying, hey, it's this person, it's that person. So, um, all my new social media is down below in the description. So check out the photos. If you see yourself in any of the photos, just please send me a message so I can properly credit you because I don't want to upload a bunch of photos without actually crediting somebody. I've actually found a couple of uh, con goers that have been in my photos. So other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support, Rob. Thank you for your help and everything. And also thank you for this. Um, but yeah, other than that, hope to see you guys in future videos. So peace.